Hey guys, so I know I look like a mess, but I just got back from a long day at school and I am doing a really shitty spur of the moment vlog because I wanted to tell you that I spilled water in my Mac. Yes, that's right everyone, I am an idiot. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose, it was... Ugh. Now this is going to sound horrible, my, my husband has um, family in town and they're staying with other relatives in Tampa, but they wanted to come visit us and it was kind of a surprise. So I gathered up all of my study materials because I have a huge test coming up in about a week and I was being so good, good little student. I was studying right over there on my desk and I had my water glass right there because I, no, I don't want to sound rude, but like I really didn't want to walk out into the living room past everyone because then I'd feel kind of like pulled into the conversation and I really, really don't have time. So I had everything I needed in here so I wouldn't have to go out there, I wouldn't have to say hi to anybody. And I mean, I said hi, but I wouldn't have to like socialize a lot. And I just had everything in here. I never, ever have water, ever, by my computer. Which pisses me off. Cause it's kinda like people who get pulled over by a cop for not wearing their seatbelt when they always wear their seatbelt. That's how I feel. The one, one friggin' time that I have water by my computer, guess what, it's filled. And how that happened was I had my earplugs in, like I said, I was trying to study, trying to get things done, and my husband was giving a tour of our house and decided that he needed to absolutely show them this room, and it's not his fault. I already told him it's not his fault, but I'm a very jumpy person. I don't know if it's caffeine or what. I'm just kind of high on nerves and just high energy and just kind of, you know, studying and, and very focused. And I was reading and I had my earplugs in, so I didn't hear them coming. And they come into this room and he bursts open the door and you know me, I just jump, I'm like, oh shit, you know? And my hand flicks the edge of my cup and it spills over and like, I would say 90% of it, and the whole glass didn't even spill, 90% of it just went on my desk and on my book, which sucked. But whatever, I didn't really care, it's not a big problem. A very, very little bit, like maybe a tablespoonful of water went through the keyboard on my Mac and I, again, was a double idiot because I didn't know what to do. I, like, I wiped it down right away and I flipped it over and, you know, tried to shake it, actually. I tried to shake some of the water out and, um, yeah, it still worked. And I thought, okay, well, okay, it's still working and that's good. So I kept messing with it thinking, oh, I just want to see what, you know, what is still working on it and, you know, how much it will function. and. After, I read on my husband's computer that that was a very bad idea. You're supposed to turn it off, take out the battery, not touch it. So if anybody spills water in their computer, immediately wipe it down, flip it over, take off the back. If you can, take out the battery. Do not turn it on, do not plug it in, do not mess with it for several days. So this happened uh, night before last, and I, I didn't do that. I messed with it for a little while, which was really, 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 really stupid. But I was panicked and freaking out. But anyways, I eventually, uh, it eventually stopped working all together and I had it flipped over and I have it, it's right here, I'll show you. Um, so this is it, it's just, you know, it looks normal. It's, I've got a fan going, so that's why it's like this, but I took off, I took off the back of the computer. It had like a ton of screws, like really, here look, like really itty bitty, tiny screws. So I didn't have like a proper tool to get them out so I used a knife which was probably another dumb move because I probably stripped the inside of the screw but this is the back of my computer and it doesn't look like there's no damage or anything and when I took the back off there wasn't any water um, but the thing that I noticed was like I told you online it said to take out this battery which is this right here you pull the little tab you take the battery out so there's like a little screws one here one here 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 like all around it but then here it says okay well, this is not focusing it says, warning, do not remove battery. It's got the little warning sign. So I couldn't get it out, even though I took all the screws out. I didn't want to disassemble the whole thing because honestly, I am not, I am not the most computer savvy person. So I, I didn't want to take it apart and then not know how to put it back together. And there was no water. I swear like very little water got in and from the amount of water that I got out of it, I figured that was probably all of it. And when I took out the back, there was nothing. And oh, needless to say, it is not turning back on and I am freaking out. So I wanted to make this video to tell you guys that my videos for probably the next few weeks until I get this thing working or find myself a new computer somehow, uh, my videos are going to be kind of shit because I do not have, like all my video editing software was iMovie and obviously I don't have that right now. So 
Uh, I'm kind of SOL and I have a test coming up in a week and oh, I'm so pissed because I had videos on my computer that I already made that I was waiting to upload because I knew that I was going to be busy this week. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just be, you know, a gunner and get these things done before and that way I'll be able to upload, you know, at least one or more than one a week. <sighs> well, no, it's going to probably be one a week and it's going to be unedited on this handheld camera and I don't know, maybe I'll find a place to sit it down. I don't have a stand for it. So it's going to be not pretty, guys. I'm really sorry. And oh my god, I had this like sinking feeling in my stomach whenever that happened. I was like, really? I n I'm so careful. I swear I'm so careful. I never do stupid shit like this. But it happened. So even if you're super careful, just don't ever nothing. If it's water, make sure it's in a bottle with the cap on. I don't know what to say. I'm like, this sucks because I have a test and I can't get online. I use my husband's computer, but he's got an Acer and it's so slow. He's got like a thousand things on his desktop. So it even takes a, it takes a long time to even turn on. So it's just kind of like, fuck my life. But yeah, so that's my sad story. Um, if you guys have any like advice on maybe what I can do to bring my poor little computer back to life, which I have a feeling that it's pretty dead. But like I said, it was working at first. And whenever I plug in the adapter, um, the charger, the little green light, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's like a little thing right here that would turn on green. And uh, from a lot of the forums and stuff that I read online, the light would turn on and it'd be like a really dim green light. Green light. See, I can't even talk. I'm so like wired. Dim green light and mine is bright. It plugs in just fine. It's just the computer won't turn on. So hopefully, maybe in a few days from now it'll turn on. I don't know. I've heard people say that they've waited a few weeks and went out and got a new computer and gave up and went to sell their computer for new parts and opened it up and hey, it turned on and worked. So I guess it's just kind of a you never know type of thing. But this really, really, really sucks. And I feel extremely stupid. And I lost a lot of stuff. I back up most of my stuff on an external, but a lot of stuff I hadn't backed up. My most recent stuff, like the videos that I made that I was gonna post this week, but now they're gone. Cause I'm a retard. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. Just wanted to let you know how smart I am. And if you guys have any advice, uh, yeah, much appreciated. Leave a comment. All right. See you guys later. Bye.